this is Paul. Yeah, some uh, maybe I'm accidentally touching it, but I'm just gonna uh, that you may be with one mind and one mouth. Oh, glorify God, even Father, uh, the Father of our Lord Jesus. Yeah. Now there's this one mind and one mouth. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's say you had sex through each other. <laughs> And um, you all have one mind, all of those that said, well, this is the way we're going. Yes. And we're going to do this because this is the way things are going to be. Mm -hmm. Now, for every one of you that's not really an actual person, yeah, you're a dog. Mm -hmm. And your thought was, well, we've always done it this way and we're not going to enforce the laws because... Well, it's not just me, yeah, but they are not important. Mm -hmm. um, you know, those that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak. Mm -hmm. Now, there's what's known as Army Strong, pooch. And I'm sure the Navy has a slogan, and the Air Force, and the Marines, yes. But this idea that you're just going to arrest me, mm -hmm, knowing I hadn't committed any crime. Mm -hmm. I'm the actual weak. Mm -hmm. I'm the individual that informs you of the law, yes. And those that are strong have an obligation to defend the weak. Mm -hmm. Now, let's say that you continue what you're doing, and I eventually, yes, because this is a lifelong relationship. Mm -hmm. I'm able to speak to the Army, yes, Army strong. Oops. And I ask every general of the United States Army for the last 40 years, all one to four star generals, <laughs> Well, what was your actual reason for allowing me to have to suffer all of this? Did you not understand that I'm a citizen of the United States? You didn't understand about the use of forgery and fraud? Oh. Your whole idea was, well, we do not have to defend the weak because we are strong and we are the United States military and we have no obligation to actually protecting the weak American citizens. Now, let's say you're an admiral in the United States Navy. Yes, you're one to four stars. Poop. You had all sworn, yes, that you would defend the Constitution of the United States. Yes. You, you did, didn't you? Mm -hmm. No, I don't, I don't think you understand, General. Let's say you're the Commandant, yes, of the United States Marines. Mm -hmm. And you say that you have no obligation to defend the weak citizens of the United States. Mm -hmm. Or you're, you're the head of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Joseph Dunford. Yes. And you said... We have no obligation to defend the weak, W-E-A-K, citizens of the United States. Now, I would say that for every soldier in the Army, poop, for every person in the United States Air Force mm -hmm, that had all sworn, not just at the time of enlistment, no, mm -mm, not just at the time of taking each and every command that they had taken, yes, I would say that Every individual that wears the uniform of the United States military has an obligation to defend the weak American citizens that are defenseless against law enforcement that violates the laws of the United States. See, I'm, I'm that citizen that happens to be the infirmity of the weak. I am not mentally ill or mentally defective. I was not in Squim, Washington, right? I wasn't in Brennan, Washington. Yes. I have not committed any crimes in the United States of America. Now, for the generals of the United States Army, for the admirals of the United States Navy, I know what you're saying. He can't do anything. Well, I would say, yes, that this one mind and one mouth, yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly who's the brains of the United States military? Uh, is it you, General, of the Joint Chiefs of Staff? Pooh. Is it you, General, on any base throughout the world? Oh, 
Is it you, Admiral, in any sea of the world? <laughs> because I'm going to be of one mind, aren't I? Yes. Knowing that I know. Pooh! Knowing. <laughs> For every general and admiral. Yes. Mm -hmm. I know that you know. <laughs> and I'm going to be that mind that says, well, I'm eventually going to get the laws of the United States enforced. Mm -hmm. And for each and every individual in command of the United States military, if you decide that you're going to allow these weak American citizens mm -hmm. to be arrested for crimes they didn't commit, yes, so that uh, corrupt individuals in government can obligate them to mental health evaluations, right, <laughs> so that they can be admitted to mental facilities. Uh -huh. uh, I'm going to tell, well, I guess I'm going to be the brains general. Yeah. Why don't you give my mind? Yes! Because I'm going to be the brains, yes, of the United States military. A uh, general? Yeah. These weak American citizens that can't defend themselves against corrupt police officers? Yes, 